Hi, and in this short video I'd like to muddle my way through an idea that sparked my interest from a number of things regarding the next Warcraft game. Now, of course, World of Warcraft is still going really strong. We've had the 10th anniversary of World of Warcraft, and there's every chance we'll get the 20th, but the game won't go on forever. But it's surely Blizzard's intent that the franchise will in whatever form. One thing that Blizzard are very good at is scaffolding their Warcraft games around a solid storyline. So what would be the storyline for a World of Warcraft 2 or a Warcraft 4, whichever way you want to think about it? It's no good just carrying on from where we are now. It needs to be a different story, I feel, and I think the recent Chronicles book, which Blizzard produced, gave me a little idea about this. So let's say you were approached to begin planning for the next game in the Warcraft series. Where would you start? It doesn't make sense to set it just after World of Warcraft for me. The current story is very much around Sargeras and the Burning Legion. Yes, we have the odd distraction with errant dragons and old gods or elemental lords or Naga, but it ultimately always comes down to Sargeras being the main antagonist. And this is particularly true in World of Warcraft. Remember, you know, we had a story about the, an attack from the Burning Legion 10,000 years ago, and then in living memory at the current time of World of Warcraft, we've suddenly had loads of incursions from the Burning Legion. It's really ramping itself up. Now, we've been building up for this showdown in that regard for some time, and Legion will not be that showdown, just another battle. But it will come, and he will, you would think, eventually be defeated. So I'd set the next game after this period, and a long time after it. But beyond that, I didn't really see a good, compelling story until I read The Chronicles Volume 1. In it, we get a bit of a well, what I thought was a bombshell, which I don't think is a spoiler anymore because it's been out there now for some time. In the Azeroth, the world Azeroth that World of Warcraft is generally set on, is a Titan. It's an embryonic Titan, and it's the reason Sargeras is so keen to destroy Azeroth, more so than the other ordinary worlds that he's already wiped out. It's because he fears the potential for the old gods, which themselves are the agents of the Void Lords, to corrupt Azeroth into something awful. So rather than that, he would actually wipe it out. This is what turned Sargeras a little bit loopy in the first place. So we assume that at some point, after Azeroth has been saved from both the Burning Legion and the old gods a few more times, that Azeroth at some point will hatch or be born or however you want to picture that. And Titans aren't giant balls. Azeroth isn't simply going to be a sentient, awakened planet. Titans are humanoid, and he or she is going to want to have a good old stretch. This will make living on the surface somewhat challenging. So rip any life on Azeroth at this time. So end of the line, right? Well, not quite. We haven't murdered all the Keepers yet, and they would presumably have their finger on the pulse of what's going on, and be able to warn us when it's a bit imminent. We also have the means to leave for other worlds, and I don't mean via Draenei spaceships. We can leave using portals, as long as you don't make too many and blow Azeroth to hell, as happened on Draenor. Now this is where you potentially have a ready-made new cycle for Warcraft. So everyone leaves through a portal that goes to a new virgin world, presumably with a few other intelligent life forms for new races for the game. And then you have the single most fundamental reason for war. In fantasy games, just as in real life, there's 101 reasons given for war, but it all comes down to the same thing, resources. And plonk both factions on a new world to settle, and they're bound to come to blows over who gets which bit. Especially when hitherto unknown resources are discovered on the other side's bit of land. And then if the indigenous peoples are also at loggerheads, it becomes easy enough for one to join the Alliance and the other the Horde to perpetuate all this. The advantage also with this, with new world and new civilizations, is that we get to that age of discovery we had in the first few expansions where we're unlocking the, the secrets of the history of that world as well, in the way that we've largely exhausted now on Azeroth. So anyway, that's what I was thinking in terms of potential way for a future World of Warcraft game, or just Warcraft game, to separate itself from the current storyline without losing the essence of the game itself. It means we can escape from the current personalities and the 
'twas merely a setback recall of famous villains, these characters may even be tens of thousands of years in the dust, so we can start again with whole new personalities on all sides of the fight. And when it comes down to having that external threat, with the loss of Sargeras, we could be facing off against the Void Gods themselves. So as always, I'd appreciate comments on this below, and I'm sure it'll be many years before this becomes truly topical, but it will be interesting to see which direction it all takes. So I hope you found this interesting. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. And until next time, I'll see you later.